now available in paperback at e mirrors Isis, Dark Incubus. The goddess next door gets enthralled in a romantic entanglement with an evil incubus in this all-new Isis series adventure. Get your copy of Isis, Dark Incubus in paperback in e-readers today. A Brooklyn artist was murdered at a luxurious Hampton Spa by her boyfriend. Friends of a Brooklyn artist murdered at a high-end Hampton Spa are calling her death a crime of passion. Police say her boyfriend was the main suspect, and now he's been found dead as well. Jennifer McLogan covers Long Island and has the latest. It was a tremendous loss. Devastating. Ryder Iwata calling himself the best friend and fiancé of the talented Brooklyn artist, 33-year-old Sabina Rosas, unable to come to terms with her violent and sudden death at the hands of an older man, according to police, who supported the victim's artistic work. It's a murder out of passion because this person who took her life didn't want to share her with anybody. The man who police say committed the brutal murder was, according to friends, infatuated with Sabina Rosas, found dead Monday inside the elegant Watermill Resort and Spa Shoshugi Ban House. Police say 56-year-old Thomas Gannon then drove from Southampton to his Honesdale, Pennsylvania home and took his own life. Gannon is seen here at a Philadelphia Museum display of Rosas's work and with her and her mentor art teacher visiting Professor Elizabeth Phillips in her Sunnyside Queens home. He was here for dinner twice he had money and he wanted to help her and he wanted to be with her all the time what kind of a feeling did you get from that oh we we both had the creeps gannon responded to her recent gofundme sabina also went by her given name sabrina cormdell to attend an artist residency in portugal next month with a heart i love you and a one thousand dollar contribution to lose a talented young artist like in this horrible way. She was probably the most undiscovered and underrated artist of our generation. He says Rosas's family lives in Tajikistan and sadly will fly her body home once the autopsy is completed. Her grieving artist community is planning a memorial. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS News, New York. Now in this alleged incident that took place in the Hamptons, 33-year-old artist Sabrina Rosas was found dead in her hotel room at a high-end resort called the Shoshogi Band House Re Resort, where she checked in with her boyfriend, 56-year-old Thomas Gannon. And as hotel workers came into the room to go and clean it up, they eventually found the body of Sabina Rosas in that hotel room, and that's where they contacted police who on doing their investigation eventually started to look for the prime suspect Thomas Gannon as related to the murder of Sabina Rosas and eventually what happened was they found Thomas Gannon at a couple a day later in his home in Honesdale, Pennsylvania with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Now according to reports Thomas Gannon had been financing the art career of Sabina Rosas and that allowed her to travel all across the globe being able to show her art in art shows and as they were going out here traveling across the globe and Sabina was able to go out here and go out here and promote her art Thomas Gannon was seen by many as being somewhat controlling over the younger Sabina Rosas and many thought that he was basically extremely creepy including an Uber driver who drove them 200 miles to the Shoshoki Band House Resort before Sabina Rosas wound up losing her life at the hand, allegedly at the hands of Thomas Gannon and, and this tragic incident that took place in the Hamptons. Now, the police in, in the Hamptons see this as an isolated incident, but when I take a critical examination of the alleged actions of Thomas Gannon, they definitely fit the pattern and profile for beta males that I talk about in my book, The Man Crisis, and they also fit the pattern and profile of behavior of simps that I talk about in my book, Stop Simping, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance. 
And what looks like here happened is that Thomas Gannon was one of these sugar daddies or old simps. And as he was out here, he got involved in a relationship with the young, attractive Sabina Rosas. And as he got involved in this relationship with Sabina Rosas, he was basically looking to use his wallet to finance this relationship and hope that he would be able to continue maintaining a relationship where he could continue to get sexual access to her body and be able to continue getting that sexual access to her body in exchange for financing her art career. Now, as related to this relationship, on the textbook, it's basically looking like a case of possible prostitution. However, as related to old simps and sugar daddies, what they think that they are doing is going out here and going out here and looking to have a relationship with that woman. However, when it comes to many of these simps, these simps are beta males, and many of these beta males, since they're going out here and looking to leverage their money to go out here and continue maintaining a relationship with that woman, they think that they can go out here and use their money to maintain power and control over that woman. However, what happens in many cases with these kinds of simps is that because their relationships are ones that they're having in a rose-colored reality, they don't really see the woman as a person that they're having a relationship with. No, they see the woman as an object that they possess, and they start treating that woman like a piece of property. And because they see that woman as a piece of property that they own and that they basically bought, they start looking to go out here and look to abuse that woman once she starts to express her humanity and as she starts to look to express her humanity and look to go out here and just be a person that makes choices that they disagree with this is where the old simp in many cases what they do is eventually what some of the old simps do because they've basically been turned into a trick at this point what they do since they're basically paying for the possibility of sex with this woman and the only reason why they're involved with this woman is because they basically want to get an attractive woman on their arm as an attachment to get the attention of other men and basically look to elevate their social status what they do in many cases is look to cut ties with that woman and basically cut her off financially. Unfortunately, when you're dealing with some of these beta males, what they do is that they become so possessive that they don't just cut the woman off because it's not just about the money. What they do is invest their emotions into the power that they have over that woman. And as they're investing their emotions into the power they have over that woman, that's where these simps become even more possessive. And that's where these simps turn into power simps and, or psycho simps. And when the simp turns into a power simp, this is where they start getting more emotional. And eventually their behavior starts to become what many people call psychotic and this is where the power where the old simp goes from being a power simp who's completely out of control as related to his emotions regarding this woman to becoming a psycho simp and the psycho simp gets to the point where they believe that since this woman is looking to rebel against them and this possession is looking to go out here and start looking to be a person they want to go out here and be able to take away that person's agency and personal power and if that person doesn't su excuse me submit to them they believe that they have every right to destroy that person by taking their life and that's what i believe possibly happened here as related to the case of thomas gannon and sabina rosas now sabina rosas had been making plans to basically start pulling away from thomas gannon and according to the report, this man who says that he was her friend and fiance, basically I think she was looking to monkey branch over to this other guy. And as she was looking to monkey branch over to this other guy, she was looking to again start looking to, for new ways to finance her art. And that's when she started looking to go do the GoFundMe. And as she was looking to go out here and take her personal power and look to go out here and look to 
built continued taking her art career in a new direction. That's where Thomas Gannon went from being the simp who was basically, again, a old simp who was thinking that he was going to go out here and finance getting some draws from a very attractive woman, uh, an attractive woman who was basically making this art. And as she was looking to go out here and look to pull away from him, this is where the psycho simp basically started to go and become extremely possessive. This is where he entered his power simp phase because power simps basically want to maintain power over a person as related to ma making them a possession. And as this power simp basically couldn't maintain his power as she was looking to, again, move away from him and move into back into her f social circle with her friends and look to finance her career and look to travel on her own. This is where the power simp turns into a psycho simp and the psycho simp basically wanted to maintain his smooth world where this woman would continue to remain in his world. And as he looked to maintain his world, this is where Thomas Gannon went out here and seething in anger because this woman was making choices outside of him and looked to explode in a rage. And this is where he looked to take her to this resort where she possibly thought she was going to be able to enjoy herself at this show show he band house because what happens is what a lot of these simps do is say that they want to take you out to one place and just have a good time but meanwhile behind the scenes these men are basically pl pr planning a murder and planning a planning the person's murder and planning the murder because they feel that if if they can't have this woman as a possession no one else will have them and they feel again offended that this woman wants to take her power away from him so they they feel that they have a justification for taking this woman's life and that's possibly what motivated thomas gannon to basically drive 200 miles in an uber to the hamptons and look to go to the hamptons possibly over that weekend and over that weekend possibly look to again after having their, their time there basically murdering sabina rosas and then after murdering her he wound up leaving the resort and after he left the resort this is where this sim basically had to deal with the reality of the consequences of his actions and realized that after taking the life of this woman he basically was on a road to doing life in prison as related to this murder and would be seen in a very negative light as related to things but he was already in a negative light because the way he decided to approach this woman and look to have a relationship with this woman basically is the reason why he was in the situation he was in because what this old simp was looking to do what he was looking to do was go out here and hope he could finance getting some draws he thought he could go out here and finance sexual access to this woman and again he never really wanted a relationship with the woman no he didn't really care about sabina rosas all he cared about was getting social currency with other men and he wanted to use this woman's body and be able to get his sexual access and again the reason why he wanted the sexual access is not because he loved sabina rosas no he loved the attention he was receiving from other men and he loved being able to say that he had a hot younger woman on his arm but the whole thing is he, that woman was a possession and not a person in his eyes and that's the reason why he could go out here and basically believe that murdering this woman was the way to do things as related to ending this relationship whereas a healthy man who basically is in a relationship with a woman and things aren't working out what that man does what he does is basically let that woman go and he lets that woman go because he understands that there are going to be lots of other women out here but when it comes to the simp the simp basically is caught up in the idea that relationships with women are scarce and caught up in the idea that relationships with women are scarce because he basically has low self-esteem and no self-confidence and because he has low self-esteem and no self-confidence he believes that he won't be able to find another woman so he looks to possess that woman and what's really sad here is that thomas gannon again this was a man who had 
a lot of money. He was a rich man if he could go out here and travel all across the globe and finance this woman's art career because he was buying the art supplies. He was making the arrangements behind the scenes to get Sabina on these different show art shows and again financing this woman's career and that takes a lot of money. Unfortunately, he wasn't doing it because he loved Sabina. He wasn't doing it because he loved having a relationship with Sabina. No, he was doing it basically because he loved to love things like getting sexual access to this attractive woman. He loved being able to have this woman on his arm, and he basically was pimping this woman. That's what was happening here. And as things were going on, she had, or again, according to the CBS report, a relationship with this other man who says he's a fiance, and again, couldn't take the fact that she basically was out here having other relationships and basically was possibly looking to go out here and marry this other man. And again, couldn't take that whole thing because he wanted to continue possessing her. And as he wanted to continue possessing this woman, he basically showed the world that he was not a man in a healthy relationship. No, he was a beta male caught up in his lust for a woman, a woman that he wanted to possess. And that's what led to this tragic incident where this woman wound up losing her life before she could go out here and actualize her potential and lost her life because she wound up getting involved with a man in crisis, a man in crisis from his inability to understand how to have a healthy relationship. And that's what makes these simps extremely dangerous. Again, a simp does not understand how relationships work because they never really had a model for it, usually due to the single mother household they came from, the divorced household they came from, or a miseducation from Madison Avenue and Hollywood, where they basically get their ideas for relationships from soap operas and TV shows and movies. So these men think that they can go out here and spend their way into love, but what they do is wind up start hating the woman because they really never love the woman as a person based on the content of her character. No, what he loved was the idea of getting involved with this woman who he thought he could just was interested in him. But maybe, I'm going to speculate, maybe she was just using him to just get her art career off the ground. Maybe that was happening because, again, if she's involved with other men, she wasn't really serious about this guy. And tragically, what happens when you get involved with a simp and you get start stringing this guy along, this guy basically, again, he's a very emotional and violent man and, again, is a ticking time bomb. And what happens with these guys is that many women think that they can go out here and pull a finesse. But the whole thing is that you can't, when these guys, again, they are very dangerous and very dangerous because when you're dealing with, with these old simps uh, and these simps overall, many of these men, they can just, again, flip like a switch. And you don't know if you're dealing with a time bomb. A lot of guys, a lot of women think that they can just go get the money and play these kind of guys. And they wind up putting themselves in a situation where their lives are in jeopardy. That's why if a guy is out here offering money up front, don't take his money. Don't get involved with this dude for his dollars. Don't mess with this dude for his cash. Because what can happen to you is you're dealing with this guy and it could lead to a situation where you could wind up in a tragic situation because this guy is not looking to love a person. He's looking to possess a person. And again, this guy, in many cases, because this isn't the first story I've read about that's tragic like this. No, I've read many stories over my life in my 51 years of living. And I've seen many people, get girls, get out here and get involved with this kind of man. And again, this man will offer money up front but that money won't be worth it as related to the to stress and drama because this guy escalates his behavior to look being possessive, controlling, and if things start, if you start to break away from him, he starts to become a stalker, and again, he starts to look to, again, take a person's life, take a person's life, and to, to make sure that that person is never going to be able to be happy with somebody else, and in some cases, they'll take their life so that they can avoid 
the police coming after them and what happens is that you have a tragic situation where two people wind up losing their lives and sadly wind up losing their lives because this man this this male was never raised to become a man and is basically a man in crisis a man in crisis who creates a great tragedy where a family winds up losing a daughter and a, and 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 just wind up losing someone that they love someone that they love who just was who needs to be educated before and many women need to understand if you don't want this man don't take his money because if you take his money it's going to come with strings attached and the whole thing is that those strings may basically be the thing that can lead to you winding up in a tragedy so when you see a dude start talking to you about his money and trying to use his money to get with you get away from him that's what smart women need to do and smart men don't go out here leading with their wallet because guys who lead with their wallet basically wind up in a situation where they are simps who eventually become tricks and the whole thing is these tricks basically lie to themselves and as they lie to themselves that they're in a relationship with this woman based on love and not lust what they do is go out here and again look to possess a woman but that whole possession of that woman basically leads to an obsession and that obsession basically basically leads to these men participating in obsessive behaviors where they go to extremes and those extremes take these males from becoming men to winding up becoming men who create a crisis with their just again depraved behavior now if you want to learn how to identify the behaviors of beta males and how to avoid these men in the social marketplace and avoid the dealing with these men overall you can pick up my book the man crisis on amazon.com in paperback and kindle format you can also find the man crisis at other online booksellers like draft the digital google play barnes and noble and big box retailers like walmart and target and that book will basically show you how to identify the behavior of beta males and it has helped many men break out of the pattern of beta male behavior and go on a road to becoming healthy men and you, if you also want to learn how to identify the behavior of simps that basically are beta males and the paradigm of simps that lead to them getting involved with female predators and how to break away from that pattern of behavior you can pick up my book stop simp and why men don't need finance to get romance on amazon.com in paperback and kindle format you can also find stop simp and why men don't need finance to get romance at other online booksellers like barnes and noble draft the digital google play barnes and noble and big box retailers like walmart and target and if you want to see me make more videos regarding the man crisis or the season of the simp you can drop a donation to the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, John Haynes, the man with nothing to lose. The man who rules the world runs into the irresistible force of a man with nothing to lose in this action-packed, all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get the regular and variant editions of John Haynes, the man with nothing to lose on Amazon.com today. Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.